Hello there and welcome back. This is going to be a, <laughs> a Bruno video. So if you are familiar with APIs and API testing, then <laughs> you may already have come into familiarity with uh, Postman. And <laughs> I will be honest, I was up until recently a user of this product, but the way or the direction this postman is heading is really not to my liking. And sometimes on macOS, it won't let me log in, gives strange error messages, and there is not much I can do about it. And I started looking around to an alternative, and I have found this Bruno API client. And I just want to show you in this video how you can use it so that maybe you also find this as an alternative. Okay, so let's try to install it. So if we go ahead and check out the pricing, it has an open source edition and a golden edition. Basically the open source is perfectly fine for most of our use cases. And we can either download the Apple Silicon version or download or install it with uh, Brew. So let's uh, install it with Brew. Basically the Brew install Bruno should take care of us for the installation. And after the installation is complete, we should be able to use it. Oh, it was able to detect the architecture properly. So now we should be able to check for Bruno. So, okay, yes, I want to open it. And there we go. So where do we go from here? We can either create a new collection, open collection, or import a specific collection. And let's create a new collection and call this demo. And we don't want to specify a location. Now let's do it on the desktop. That's perfectly fine. And here in the demo collection, we can go for a new request. And there is a site which is called httpbin.org, which I, let's say, frequently use to demonstrate different ways. So let's issue a GET request. And we try it out, execute it, and we get the URL. So we need this URL, and basically we can specify the request type. We can either use HTTP or GraphQL and invoking method render new, no such file or directory. What is happening? Oh, sorry, <laughs> HTTP bin. And this is where the URL comes. And then, yeah, safe mode, that's perfectly fine for us. And let's run it. And there we go. This was the response that was returned from the httpbin.org. And we can, uh, or if we are familiar with Postman, then basically this is something that uh, is going to be familiar for us. So the layout is similar, kind of. And if we want, we can specify for our request different parameters, body, and so on. And in the response part, we can see what type of headers were sent back. As you can see, the HTTP bin is using GUnicorn. And we can also see a timeline. And if we were to run some tests, we could also do that. So let's take it for a test drive and try it out with the post request and what we want to do is to go ahead and issue it here and post and we would like to add the parameter name Daniel and just 
simply use it and there we go this was our response you can see that the arguments went there simply and it's working fine for us so what we can also do is to change the way these requests are sent there is a safe mode and developer mode so when we use the safe mode this javascript is executed in a secure sandbox and it cannot access our file system or execute system commands and the developer mode is a bit more permissive and if you want we can also create a new environment let's call this demo and basically this is how we could use it so i think bruno is an excellent alternative to postman see you in the next one